as the world turns and millimeter wave 5G starts to roll out, if you get yourself a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 device, you will be able to pick up some serious momentum when it comes to data speeds. With the Snapdragon 8, you have the fastest connectivity you can get in a phone. Whether you are in 5G, when 10 gigabits per second on downlink peak speeds, or with Wi-Fi 6 and 6E with up to 3.6 gigabits per second speeds. In normal terms, this is just as fast as you can get with a fiber connection in your house. So with most expensive like um, internet service providers, the most premium services you can get for internet in your home, now you can get the same level of connectivity in your hand with a device powered by Snapdragon 8. It's the first mobile platform to feature speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. And it's also the first one to feature release 16 uh, 5G capabilities. What is this? What is release 16? 5G gets uh, updated every year and a half or two years with new sets of specifications. The first set of specifications 5G launched with was release 15. And now we are seeing the commercialization of the new version of 5G, 5G release 16. That comes with some innovations to make your connectivity more uh, smooth, right? And be able to connect to 5G networks on low spectrum and high spectrum both at the same time. And also with some uh, power efficiency innovations so you can battery can last longer while you connect to the best network. In terms of speed, uh, Snapdragon 8 features the latest 5G millimeter wave technology. Millimeter wave is one aspect of the 5G specifications that is unique to very premium or specific Snapdragon platforms that can allow you to have the fastest speed you can do with 5G. Some uh, analysis from Ookla Speed Test, the company that many of us use to test the uh, speed of our networks, has shown that 5G millimeter wave is as fast as 19 times the uh, speed that you can get with regular 5G and up to 38 times the speed that you get with 4G. So if you want the fastest device in your hands, make sure it's powered by the next Snapdragon 8.